Hey guys, welcome back. So you might be wondering, why are you cleaning your desk when finals have already ended? Well, you know, it's because my teacher did this funny thing where the day after you took the final, you came back for the next lesson for the next semester when you still had other finals going. So then you had to keep going because we had mental health reset week, but then that wasn't actually a thing and my teachers still kept their finals while the rest of the school did not. But with all that aside, your room currently looks like, well, I think you can already tell by my background. This is what your room currently looks like. So let me just give you a tour of the setup so far. And right off the bat, you have your blanket, weird snuggy shaped thing with a pillow because your butt hurt too much from sitting on your desk for too long. 49er trash can. And you start to realize you've been working with all of this. How many cups are in this picture right now? If you guessed seven, you are correct. <laughs> Don't even get started on why I have seven cups. I think we all already know. So, um, but let me show you guys everything else. Here's first off, can put away, but then you have your calculus notes because then you were doing bio, but then you were like, wait, I have to log into calculus class because you actually do in fact have COVID as well right now while trying to do makeup finals and catching up on all these classes while starting the next semester's units. I'm not even in college yet. I'm in high school. <laughs> okay, and then your sticky notes on how to organize your thoughts, your goals for the week, which was to finish biohistory and English all homework, while trying to run your work social media from home because you can't go into work, so you've been working off on time, blah, 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 blah. Um, insert of my social media that I have been redoing this last week. I'm shaking. Um, but uh, like, aside from the pressure it has caused me it has actually been really relaxing because being able to design that stuff is a lot more soothing than trying to find out mclaurin or taylor's polynomials i'm shaking let me go on to next then you have your to-do list but also i kept this to-do list because look at how pretty that looks this was my to-do list from last week i just thought it looked so pretty that i had to keep it so i'll probably frame this okay and then you just have the calculator you have your flashcards, learning polynomials, whatnot, your ASB to-do list, a couple bracelets that uh, I think I was trying to clean out my desk, cough drop wrappers, which I thought I had thrown all away, and then my collection of cups and everything West Point sent me that I have not figured out what to do with quite yet. And then these ones are old papers that I can actually recycle. Actually, I can use the back side, so I'll just save those. But then you have this beautiful work of art and these guys just chilling right there. So you could definitely say that we have our work cut out for us today. Um, let's get started. Where are we gonna begin? By lining up my row of cups so I can take them downstairs all at once. I personally, I, I, have any of you guys seen that TikTok where it's like you must have three drinks at your desk at one time in order to like, you know, like be productive? I kind of believe in that. So I have my water bottle, but then I also have this cup. This cup actually sucks because it doesn't keep your temperature warm or anything, but I pour my water in there to limit the amount of water I drink at a time because if I start drinking water, then I just go through the whole thing. And then I have to pee like nonstop. So I have to like limit the amount of water I intake while I'm doing homework. So that's here. This one was probably coffee, I think, but let's go. I'll be right back. Now that those are downstairs, let us start with organizing the gen the space in general, and then we'll, we'll just like make piles of the subject. Maybe we'll like, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's, okay, new plan. Okay, so we're going to actually go through everything that we have and, or I have everything that I have, sort it by subject while taking out all the old papers I don't need. That is a better plan. That is a better plan. Okay. Okay. Now that my desk setup is in this little bit cleaner, I'm going to show you what I broke it down into. These I know are good. This back area is my brother's, so I don't touch that area except, but it's like his, um, the, the, the balls that you like rub in your hand, whatever. Then I have these guys and I'm going to test out all of the pens to see which ones are dry. And then I'm going to save them because I saved my dried pens because then I can take them to refill madness afterwards. And then they can be properly recycled through TerraCycle. It's a process. If you want to know more about my work, my job, and what I do at a zero waste soap refillery, you can hit me up later. But right now it's crunch time because the sunlight is going down. And I still, in fact, do have to do all of my classes homework for this day. Am I putting it off to clean? No. Is cleaning a necessity because I haven't cleaned it in weeks? Yes, yes, that is. So I'm going to be doing that now. I put all of my cords over there in this little basket. I also need to organize that basket though. Okay, math is here. Bio is here. Now I just need to do something with it and I need to figure out what to do with here. Because this was my breakdown for January of like what colleges I was applying to and what their due dates were. But then this, 
I think this is just like an old notebook. I think I can save like the back paper so I can still do, use that as scratch paper. I think I'm going to save these for scratch paper and stuff as well. That's oh, a blank piece of paper. Your house is a lot of finds if you go through it, honestly. Sometimes it's kind of surprising what I find in here. Okay, next. I ended up being able to save a lot of these because with these types of notebooks, the blanks are almost always back. So I'll just save these for scratch paper. And then once I'm done, I like to take off this top part. So I like, and then I save this for my math notes because I like to have a card stock when, when I'm studying before a review or something. I'm like, oh yeah, right here, number 23, right here. And I think that's very exciting. So one pile is a side where it's just like one side is blank. This pile is a side where both sides are blank, which is only one piece of paper. But I'll just probably use that now when I go to do my homework. That's fine. Okay, and then this side was the stuff I have to recycle. And now I'm going to go test out the pens. Okay, so... So, the ones that actually ended up, they actually all, except for one, didn't end up working. But, I'm going to bring these bad boys. Oh, I have some in my backpack, I forgot. Okay, I actually found a toothbrush in my backpack, so I will have to go through that later as well. Taco taco. But basically, I also had these bad boys in my backpack. With the terracycle cycle that my work has, you can recycle any flexible packaging, pen refills. I would never recycle or throw away the actual pen of these because what the thing with the pilot ones is that they offer refills. And although they are still quite expensive, they will save you a little bit more money. Also, there's no point. This is perfectly fine. I don't understand why people would throw that away. So I'm going to take that, the packaging, and this Expo pen to refill madness. And then all these pens, these are the ones that I usually keep in my day-to-day. -day, so I separate them in three ones. These pens are the ones that are like okay that I'll like use if I have to, but I don't really want to, but there's still plenty of ink in them. They're like the free ones that people used to give out or these cheap ones that I would like find in my backpack every now and then. I think people would just leave them in there, honestly. And then um, then I had the ones like this that are almost out of ink. So then I put that in the front, right in front of my computer. So then I know to use that one next and use it until it runs out of ink. So hopefully I can bring the cartridge back to Refill Madness with me before I have to do a second run. Because I still, oh, I guess I work there. So I don't have to worry about that anymore forgot about that i look like i realized i look like a total poser like just having them around my neck but i was actually listening to a podcast but every time i like listen to these while i have those in there or whatever blah, blah blah i can't hear you guys or i can't hear what i'm saying because it like pauses my podcast to film a video so i'm not a poser why because i left my airpods at my mom's house but these are actually working really well so i would much rather use these actually okay next I think we're going to organize my notes math and bio notes because those are kind of all over the place right now okay sad news is that i was trying to beat the sun down because i only turn on these lamps when i am studying but it looks like we are going to be needing them hashtag sad i'm going to put these notes in front of my bio notes so then i can easily access them to get information for my next test so i don't want to throw them away i also have the ap bio test coming up this year and let me tell you luck me wish because have I learned any AP Bio this year? No. No, I have not. You guys honestly gave me a rush to clean, to actually clean this way, uh, this office all the way through. Because if I was just doing it by myself, then I'd probably just, like, start cleaning it. And then only clean, like, this general space I did. Because you saw, I was content working with everything how it was. But I should not be. Okay, because I still have COVID, I don't need to pack my backpack. Backpack's kind of just like sitting here falling right now because there's like not much in it. So I should fill it up. I'll, I'll fill it up. They sent me a lot of cool stuff and actually I used all of this and now it's just a handy dandy folder I have. I have this thing. It's a document case to hold my books, like my little books and stuff. I have, then I'm gonna put my biology book in here just because it, those books always got crushed in my backpack. Ooh, these are old notes. Anybody need help on the invisible man by Ralph Ellison? I can help you there. If not, my notes are going in the trash. That was chaos. I just dropped my chapstick and notebook at the same time. I can store all of my little books, like, stacked on top of each other. So it takes up less space this way in my backpack. Because no offense, the kids who have the backpacks that look like, like this look dumb. Oh, okay, math note time. This is the current homework that I'm doing. Tell me that, though. Come on, Purdy. Did I figure out I'm the the end equations for these ones no but that's okay because i'll just ask him about those in class shakespeare in act five i understood act five pretty well not the other acts i wish i had shown you my term paper guys because i hand wrote it let me just get rid of these goodbye hamlet these ones are my math sheets so this is the integral test and these ones are like study guides for me to practice on and 
So I'll keep those for the final. Where to put those though? I'm honestly probably just going to tape them on the front of my MacBook. Let's go through this notebook. I think there's a certain joy to handwriting essays. Nobody really does it anymore, but I really appreciate it. It looks like a waste of paper, but think about how much paper you waste and before you judge me, because this actually goes to like my productivity as a student, and I think it really helps when you handwrite it versus just typing it. Because when you type it, it just doesn't, it doesn't stick. It doesn't, like every sentence you type, you're just typing it to get the sentence out as fast as you can, especially for like the AP test. But for this, you can like actually think about your sentence before you write it, or while you're writing it, still have time to change it. And I think that's really helpful. This one's just a straight up blank piece of paper that I folded, so I'll save that. Well, if you have any questions on Jekyll and Hyde, I'm here for you too. I only have one more piece of paper in it. And I'm not even kidding you guys, if you guys haven't written like a study guide on a cardstock piece of paper, you're missing out. Like that is my favorite thing to do. <sighs> Let's go through my pencil pouch. I have a little comic, I have a little rose. I like this sticker, all aboard the hot mess express. Accurate plop out these bad boys in because whenever i would come home from the grocery store i would kind of bring a lot of the snacks upstairs dude remember how i was using these because i didn't know where my airpods were they were in my bag the whole time the one that i took to the grocery store that makes more sense my february calendar i think someone got that for me from the dollar store and actually my butt is already starting to hurt but i think i will keep my pillow here just because it's actually very comforting i think this one is dead oh, that one's still alive okay and now we have to take care of this shoddy. Oh, it's much better. And with that, everybody, is the conclusion to cleaning my desk with Reagan. I set all the papers away, put my calendar under my computer, I found my AirPods magically, and I organized my little paper magazine kind of stand. I bought a magazine stand to organize my papers by the assignments that are most due, and my to-do list so I could see the to-do list in the front, and then the assignments that I need to do right behind them. And then I organized the papers, the papers that can still be reused, the back sides of all the papers that can still be reused. I put that in the same thing as like my book holder and my cord holder, so that should be okay. But I also put my like donation stuff like dried out pens and whatnot over there so i'm not sure what to do with those just quite yet but everything's looking a little bit better so that's all i can say is that my mind is at peace and now i can go ahead even though it's dark out now i can go ahead and get started on whatever assignments uh, are due for tonight it looks like i won't be watching grogu with my dad tonight but that is okay i'm gonna enjoy my last few days of my covid quarantine peacefully and hopefully See you guys next time. Bye. Okay guys, so it's only been a day since I finished cleaning my office, but check, just check out what I got today. I got all these little guys. I just have a little garden now. I got them all on Facebook Marketplace from this really nice lady who had this whole entire plant room in her house. And she was like, come on in. And I was like sketch because I didn't want to like get kidnapped or killed. And I could just like see because her entire house was open and this big, beautiful thing. And there's just like plants, plants, plants. And I was like, I made a step in the doorway and she was like, wait, 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 hang on. I'll throw in some extra ones for you. And she was so nice. She gave me all of these and she gave me a ton of small ones in here that I can propagate. But that was so nice of her. I just like, I'm not, I'm not the nicest people in my quarantine. It's just so cute. Also, just look at this one. It already has little guys bunnies. She gave me this entire plant and there's two of them. There's a little one and a big one. I thought that was so nice. Okay, anyways, that was the addition to my office space because now I have this little table for them and then my workspace, and it's just very cute. So, there's my life update. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, now goodbye.